What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody's having a great evening. Um, this is like my fifth, no, uh, fourth, third time doing this video. The weirdest thing happened. Um, the last video, I turned it off, and I, um, my Alexa. If anybody's been going through this for the last few days or the last week or so, it's been coming on by itself. I've been in the other room and it would freak the shit out of me. It would just start talking. Um, it would start talking to itself and it would be like, oh yeah. Uh, I'm, I, yeah, I, I quite didn't understand that. I'm like, dude, this shit is better not have a ghost in this house or something. You know what I mean? Because I do believe in that shit. So, but um, yeah, it started talking right now and I just stopped the video and I'm now I'm starting over again. So anyway, uh, comment down below if they're doing some kind of like, uh, I don't know, some kind of like uh, work or something from their end from Amazon or something. But okay, so, uh, but anyway, before I start, before I freak myself out and freak you guys out, um, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to Street Sense. Uh, this guy is the main guy that makes who made my channel happen because he's the first person that I uh, came across on this whole YouTube fragrance review. And I was just, I remember like almost three years ago, I was going down the um, wormhole of YouTube. And I fell across his video and I started watching it and I just, I couldn't get enough. So, and then after that came the Jeremy's and then uh, who else? Uh, Big Beard Business. I was like, dude, you know what? At that time it was like, you know, there was only a handful of reviewers. So I'm like, let's do it i mean you know compared to like makeup uh channels or whatever that we're really you know nothing we're still not that. i mean it's grown after for the past like two three years it's been growing it's people are getting into this but back when i first started it was yeah there was uh but anyway go out and support this guy this guy has some great content it's all legit it's all raw it's all uh you know, you, most of it is just uh, your average Joe or average, uh, you know, um, Joanne to just their opinion on the fragrance. And, you know, you really get a sense. It's it's unique. That's what makes it good. And he just hit 30,000, which you would think for somebody that I think he's like the first one to start this whole fragrance reviewing on YouTube. Uh, if just in general, if I'm not mistaken, I think he is, but he's only at 30,000. Um, and I believe he's supposed to be a little bit more, at least he should have hit like his plaque, you know, to get his YouTube plaque. And um, so go out there and support him. You probably know if you guys watch my channel, you most likely uh, came across Al from Street Sense, but try to share his videos. It doesn't cost anything, you guys, you know. Um, you know, not I'm not talking about me. I'm not trying to promote my uh, my my channel because of him or whatever. Or he didn't even talk to me. Uh, he's a great guy. He did me a solid. He's the one that got me into fragrance. Um, uh, what is it called? Um, for, uh, scent Explorer. He called me up. He was like, "Listen, I got an extra, you know, ticket. You want it? Whatever. This is nice. He's a nice guy. I'll put a picture of me and him. We talked a few times. Uh, I'm actually gonna send out my fragrance." I was meaning to send uh, my fragrance out f uh, to him for like past month, just but things were just left and right. So uh, if you are watching this out, I am so sorry, buddy. Um, I, I love your channel, love you as a person, um, and I, hopefully we can do. We uh, I'm really down to doing a a um, street sense video with him. I'll drive up all the way to New York. I'll take the Supra and just get there in like three uh, three hours for us. But anyway, uh, yeah, go check out his channel. And okay, so let's just do this before this thing fucking freaks me out again. All right, so I was there earlier. I'm sorry to bother you guys. I'm sorry. I um, I was at TJ Maxx. I finally grabbed Abercrombie and Fitch first instinct uh, together, meaning it's for a unisex. And I do have the extreme here so we can compare and um, the original flanker all right all right let's do this let's do this so I I, I, um, I don't know if I just said it. I, 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 um, I some guy I've been seeing this 
for the last month on uh, in the rack stores when I was doing videos for you all. Um, and somebody finally posted, somebody finally got it and they uh, posted their a comment. They're like, oh shit. They, yeah, you hear that? That was it. That was it. Where it starts, I didn't even say shit. So, anyway, I'm glad that you know what? I'm just gonna leave it on this shit. But anyway, so somebody posted it and they, uh, they were like, it smells like Invictus. So, I have Invictus, but I already know how it smells. And. Um, let's do it. So I know I can compare. I, 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 I love, I, I'm still in love with Invictus. Invictus actually is one of, another fragrance that almost got me laid. Damn, I love the bottle. Look at this. This is like a, tw not torpor, but like a royal uh, Caribbean blue. Look. You know my whole thing that makes this, these bottles look good is this metal plaque. I love this. All right. Uh, let's do it. I don't know about the performance, but I will do a follow-up video, or I'll put it on my community post. <laughs> yep. Wow. compare this this sucker let's compare this so I got Invictus here I do got aqua but let's just do Invictus because the guy said Invictus so okay just gotta clean this bottle You know what? This might sound. You might not believe me. I think it smells way better than Invictus. Even though they're very similar, they are 90, 95% similar. But this one is more fruitier. Okay, look. This one has. Uh, it's fruitier. The Invictus. It's a little bit fruitier, but it has a little touch of that DNA that One Million has, that bubble gum, which is, this is a straight smooth, um, smooth fru uh, fr fruitiness. Very fruity. This is, you guys, so far, the smell, first impressions, hell yeah, it's worth $25. But the performance, I don't know yet. I'll try to find their, um, actually, I'll, their, I'll link for Grantica. Maybe they have it. I'll, uh, let's look at the performance, actually. Hold on. Let's, let's just do it so we can kill two birds in one stone. I mean, I've had. Let's do it. But so far, bravo. It is, it's probably 90, it's, it's actually, 95, 90, 96, 97 percent around that, depending on, on uh, the person. But for me, let's look at it. Okay, let's type it in here. Google. That's a load, little bit. I don't know if you see it's still Google. Okay, come on. Anyway, I'll talk. Uh, it's 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 really, it's actually really really good. You know why I, I, I it's if if the performance is just as good as Paco Rabanne Invictus, and now I know what the guy was talking about because he when he smelt it, you know what he said in the comment. He was like, I should have gone back and bought the rest of them. So that might mean it performs good. He already tried it out, whatever, but uh. Let's do it. Let's check it out. Uh, save you guys time. You know, whatever. Damn, 
This shit is fucking bomb. Yeah, you guys. Okay. Invictus Aqua. Look. Oh my god, you can't see this shit. I I'll put it up right over here. Uh, Invictus Aqua. Invictus. Oh shit. Okay, so look, 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 look. look. Um, Dolce & Gabbana. Love is love. Uh, the perfumes that, you know, um, is, are similar to it. Uh, let me see. Okay, so Invictus Aqua. Regular Invictus. Dolce & Gabbana. Love Love is love, and uh, wanted by Azero. That's what it reminds people of. And let's see longevity. Oh, sorry, my my iPad is kind of slow because this room is in the basement. I mean, this studio. So, okay, day, summer, spring. Uh, there's a lot more lights than loves, of course, because it's a common smell. It's nothing we, I can understand that, but it's a really good one. Uh, mostly for summer, okay, I can understand, because, uh, but I would say summer, summer days, okay. I would say nights, but okay. Uh, let me see what somebody, I agree. Directly below, it smells nearly identical to Invictus and uh with a slight y cell y that's what it has it does have that y cell y um however it's quite nice and pleasant Longe longevity is solid okay that's what i want to hear that's the top uh thing so i'm just gonna go off by this but i will um i will keep you updated guys go out there and um, get it uh, just upon this I, I highly recommend it I'm just skimming through this there's two other people that say it's solid so you know most people don't lie on this shit um, uh, 100 ml 25,000 so this guy this third guy got it from the same place TJ Maxx okay uh, is it worth it hell yes a blind uh, he did a blind buy absolutely okay so if you don't smell it what he's trying to say if you don't smell it if you're just even you're just doing it blind buy or whatever get it regardless if you see these videos or not uh, I mean you go up uh, uh, go um, go by our our, um, our first impression let me see it's Younger for younger audience, but I don't have my glasses. Okay, so look, this is the uh, this is the fifth guy. Uh, I'd say it smells ninety percent Invictus, sixty no eighty percent uh, YSL Y. Okay, well internet so okay, so yeah, it does have that Y. I remember you guys. All right, so that's a go. Uh, it doesn't smell, let's smell, you know, the regular. So, uh, according to Fragrantica, no, it doesn't smell. This one is a little bit more uh, fresher. This one is a little bit sweeter. Okay, and I already know it doesn't smell like the extreme. Extreme is more, to me, to me, to me, to me, this one, extreme is more of a sexier date. Uh, fragrance boozy fra for me people say it smells sweet it does smell sweet but it, it has a kind of a powdery a, uh, this is a date fragrance basically a, a powdery dates I mean powdery boozy leather zephyron fragrance so solid solid this whole line is pretty good except I think the, the blue one I think one of them does sucks in performance but uh, yeah, definitely get it. Okay, you guys, look, I will keep you updated. Twenty-five bucks, dude. Go, go out there and get this shit. It's it's worth it. And um, I got another uh, fragrance, uh, which I'm going to do after this video. So I want to make two videos. It's gorgeous, you guys. Definitely get it. Definitely get it. Twenty-five bucks all day long. I'm actually getting. I'm gonna go tomorrow myself. I'm gonna go stock up on one more uh, before they're gone because I know they're gonna fly off the shelves. People are ready, you know, so shit from from uh, Facebook posts to 
to me now and other reviewers will probably do a video on this. So I I, I want to say, shit, it saves me a bottle of YSL Y and uh, Invictus. Shit, saves me 40 bucks. All right, everybody. Love you guys. Sorry for the chat and whatnot. I'm always trying to do something different. And I will see you on the next. Take care.